The girl punched me and knocked out my teeth blood. The person whom you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please leave a message after the Yo, Drip Nation, it's your boy James here. Back with another video. Come on, guys, I am doing vlogmas still. Like, I'm gonna be hella consistent with these videos. I'm gonna be putting out at least two to three videos a week, so stay tuned for that. Make sure your post notifications are on. As you guys can see by the title, that this one's a bit of a mad story time. I'm not. It's embarrassing. It's really, really, really embarrassing. But that was Jay Edwards literally five to six years ago. So don't feel like these jokes can be run with me now because I promise you it's not adapting. I promise you it's not adapting. But anyways, make sure you guys like, comment if you need to channel, make sure you guys subscribe. It literally takes you two seconds of your time to subscribe and like. It helps my channel grow. It helps me get recommended. Help a nigga out, bro. I'm trying to put out these contents. You see the edits, you see this, you see that. Come on. Like, comment, and subscribe. In it, let's get straight into these video for you guys Let, let's get straight into the video so guys i'm gonna paint you a quick picture of my secondary school experience so you just have a full understand and just get the whole context of the whole story did you get it so from year seven to year nine this is what i look like fam i look like on big fuck off umpa loompa like <laughs> did i even say that properly umpa loompa bruv even willy wonka would have want me in his factory bruv i'm telling you that for free back then nobody rated me and you know back then like you know if you wasn't in like in an athletic group or if you wasn't slim or you didn't look good like nobody would rate your team did you get it like people would violate and it's not even the fact that i was bullied but you just wasn't a part of the popping group so if you know if you're not a part of that that group or like a part of that social circle was like yeah you're not really rated too tough like i was still chill with them but it's like you wouldn't get the same rating you get like people would violate be like oh you've got man boobs you don't look good like you look chubby you look fat this like it just bare fat shaming back then and you know people back then had no feel and all of them looked like rabbits anyways but it's just like you just had to affirm it to get because you're not a part of the group you can't fight back and if you do argue with them if you do fight back it's more violations on you in it like they try to make they try to pick on you kind of thing to get it God did a 360 on my life and transform, transform me into this. This is what I look like. Man slimmed down, hair, face, everything. God bless me with a new body. You get it? Like what Nicki Minaj said. He gave me a new thing. He gave me a new thing. So that's when girls started to speak to me more. Like man them started to rate me more and I was more like accepted. And that time, literally, I think because I was caught up in the whole growing up process, I got myself into this like little glang, gang slash click group that was outside of secondary school. All of this is all relevant to what I'm talking about, guys. So stay tuned, innit? So um, yeah, literally, I glowed up, started to look better, size down in clothes, man look good, girls are starting to chat to me and it's like, my line was ringing, do you get it? So cool. One day I was going back from Stratford now and I'm jumping on the train and you know the Stratford trains, like they stay there for about five to 10 minutes and then they depart. Turn around and see one sweet girl. But my nanny dropped to the ground. The girl lips. Listen, me and the girl don't talk now in it, but I'm not gonna knock her in it. Like she was really good looking. So I turned around and I saw the girl. The girl was pretty, bruv. She had dimples, nice eyes, this, that, slim shit, nice girl. And I was just like, Rod, I can't, fam. I look up, I look to God and I look back down and I look back over there and I was like, I can't let this one miss me. Like, I might never see her again. So I spoke to her now and I'm speaking to her and I'm like, like, what's your name? Like, where are you from? Da -da 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 -da. But I didn't go on the thing where like, no, not going to lie to you, my confidence level was high. I was like, fam, God can take away these looks at any given moment. Let me have my confidence whilst I have my confidence. But I wasn't like cocky to the point where like it was, um, a, like it could become an ick, do you get it? But it was just like confidence to the point where I'm not gonna be a pussy and not chat to a girl if I wanted to chat to a girl. So I was speaking to her, ask her name, what area is she from, da da da, -da. Fam, she was local. I was expecting her to be from like Essex or something, but she was very local. Um, like she lived in North London. I don't want to say what area, but North London, say about, I, I can say Tottenham, but she went to a school literally from down the road from me. And I was like, fam, how you got, how you go into a school that's down the road from me and I've never seen your face before? This, that, I've, I've just, I've never seen this girl a day in my life, innit? But like the people that she told me that she knew, like are mutual people, innit? Like I would see these people every day, but I'll just never see her with them. So I'm like, wow, cool, say no more. Literally after that, we would speak on Snapchat, we would speak every day, we would speak on the phone and stuff like that. Convo was banging, Convo was good. She was a sweet gal. She was feeling my thing, I was feeling her thing. It was one of them ones, things were starting to kick off. Cool, I started to see her face now. It's one of them ones that, you know you make the link to see each other after school. We would buck each other after school, but it's one of them ones that nobody knew anything in it. Like we were just spending time around each other and cause I was with the click and stuff like that. It was just, it just made life easier to get. But not to long out the thing too tough. Like, you know how everybody had that, like, you know, you know the supermarket you would go to before you go to school to get your snacks. Like everybody had that one supermarket that they would go to before they go to school. Yeah, I started to see her then. I'm like, rah, like I'm actually starting to see her face more. But anyways, we started to spend more time with each other and but we like we didn't beat or anything like that but we started to be more like intimate in terms of like we was kissing stuff like that one time i sent her to school so 
big f**k off hickey, bruv. And that's when all her friends clocked on. And they were like, not gonna lie, you you put that icky on her neck and it looked like you punched her in the neck, bruv. Like, they were how her neck, like, had bit. Fam, I did a mad thing still. And that's how everybody started to clock on in the situation. As I'm enjoying my thing, we're enjoying each other's company and stuff like that. More people started to clock on. And then that's when the haters started to arise, bruv. There was this one little dickhead boy that used to go to my school that used to text it on me, bruv. Ever since I've blown up, Every, like, in any situation that I get, in, any relationship I get in, he's always hating on, man. Like, he was just one of them people that just couldn't get off my dick, bro. Like, why are you on my dick for, like? I'm gonna lose it! And he was jealous, innit, because the girl was sweet, and the girl wasn't too, too interested in him. But, like, one of them ones, his brother was a road man, so I couldn't really pipe up too tough, because I wasn't trying to get myself in any problems. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't trying to get put in a spliff in the body bag. Nah, that was not gonna happen, so I just had to kind of firm his kind of, like, hate kind of thing. But it's, he, he wasn't stopping my progress, you get it? As much as he tried that, Yo, was not stopping anything. Cool. Let's let's fast forward. There was a situation where wait, hold on. I hope I'm not skipping anything, you know. I hope to God I'm not. I hope to God I'm not skipping anything, you know. Cool. Say no more. Yeah. So the way how we was into each other is one of them things where you know that you would leave school. Like you always make plans before school. You Snapchat each other during school to just ask each other where we're linking up, how we're linking up, and how it's going to happen. Because we was just obviously it's a talking stage, isn't it? So you're trying to like link each other as much as you can. As we're starting to like see each other more often, weeks are going by. Wait, wait, wait. Rumors are starting to spread up, and this girl named Candy now this girl named candy for some reason i don't know how she was affiliated with these people because the way how they looked and the way how she looked did not it did not click together it did not correlate like you did shit man they did shit good like and, you, and these people that like the girls here what i can't came to find out later like these were the girls that would only chill people that look nice in there like you know how you have them girl groups like everybody in the group look nice so the fact that she looked like one hippopotamus out of Madagascar and then she chilling with these people, it just didn't make sense. When I want to explain it, my head will be t headache me. And it's like she was trying to hit on my team, like she was really hitting on my team because she's the one that started to kick off rumours and she's the why she's the reason why me and the girl left. She's the reason why they're hating us bitch, bruv. It was her bruv, do you get it? Cool. I can't even be sorted no more. This is getting now, right? What am I sorted for? Pattern up, bro. Ah! Nah, but it, it pissed me off because why are you getting involved in my situation for? Like, you don't do them things, bro. You don't do them things. Nah, you don't do them things, man. Make sure you don't do it again. Her and the dickhead boy that I told you lots about earlier were starting to make rumours, innit? They were going back to the girl saying that, ah, oh, he's saying that he's using you and apparently you're getting whipped and he doesn't really like you, da 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 He's just using you, just trying to use you for mulch. They used to say mulch back in the day, innit? I'm just trying to use her for mulch. Cool, so she starts to back out of the situation now. She's that oh like she's moving funny with me right, right, right. and i'm asking her what's going on she's like oh um candy came and told me that you were saying this and that and you was chatting to your friends basically just trying to say that how i was trying to violate her thing i was like no babes that's not the situation like, i don't know who's saying that why they're saying that and um she was just like like she was just starting to lose trust in it because obviously these are people that she apparently trusts and it's like when you're hearing it from more than one person you're you're bound to like believe it or you're bound to start to like have some question in your mind like what's actually going on why so many people come to me telling me this but it's because babe, their people were trying to hate on my team because they saw that I was growing up, they saw I started to get the nice girls and they just tried to, like that whole school, that it was a bear toxic bruv and I, and f everybody that went to that secondary school bruv, if you, if you see this and you was one of them people, f you, I swear to god, f you, yeah, okay, I mean it from the bottom of my heart, everybody, f you, okay, f you, okay, so guys, in the midst of all these rumours circulating fam, I was in my science lesson here and I saw Candy outside and I was like fam, I need to go chat to this sour face girl fam because she's been on my name for too long for what reason I don't know. So I've gotten up now and I went to go speak to Candy I was like fam, why am I hearing that you're going to my girl? I'm going to call her cashing in it. Why have you gone to my girl cashing not saying that, oh, apparently I'm saying how she's whipped and I don't rate her thing and da 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 and I'm just using her, this and the next. Like, why are you going to her saying that? She's like, oh, she heard me say it. And I was like, fam, where did you hear me say it? Me and you ain't friends. Me and you ain't peers. We're in the same year, but me and you don't chill together. So please tell me where you could have heard me saying that I'm using my girl and apparently how she's whipped, she's wet and all these different kind of things and how I'm just using her for mosh. Because back then, the whole term for like doing stuff was mosh. I'm using her for mosh. Please tell me how I'm using her for mosh. Tell me it's because nobody's motioning you. Yeah. And it's one of those things where she started to tag team with that sour face, rank face boy, yeah? You see that boy? That boy wanted the girl cashing up. Like, he wanted cashing up in it, but he couldn't get cashing up because I got cashing up first. And it's one of those things where because he couldn't get the girl, he was trying to don off my name in order to get me and her to left so he can get the girl. And I'm like, fam, that's not how you get girls, bruv. You don't go bitch about a next man to go get a girl. It's either you get the girl because of your own source or you don't get her at all, do you get it? But you don't go bad mouth somebody just to get another girl because right now that just makes you like a whole pussy, bruv. And the way how the guy was on my 
dick, fam. Like, why are you on my dick like that? You don't, you don't do stuff like that. You get, I just, I just don't rate them movements. You get, like, I hate the fact that you're chatting shit about somebody to gain a relationship when it's like, if she doesn't rate you for what you bring to the table, then there's no point. You see, friends like you lots that love to get in people's relationships, bruv. There's a special place for you in the hell. <laughs> Bad mind friends that love to come mash up relationships for no reason. People like you. There's a, a place in hell. This is why I say like, if I'm dating a girl, I'm dating just you. I'm not dating you and your friends because your friends, some of you lots don't want to see people win and stuff. Anyway, I'm not even going to get into a whole rant in it, but what I'm saying, Candy was some dickhead girl, bro. I swear to God, and that dick waist, man, yeah. Yeah, yeah, both of you cancel still. Listen, the girl's starting to move a bit weird with me. Like, she's starting to become more detached. Like, she's not really responding to my messages anymore. Like, she's just really not, so, like, she's just not talking to me anymore. Like, that too tough. So, anyway, it's cool. I've gone to her friend now, and I'm like to her friend, like, can you chat to her and see where I've gone? Because she's not, she's not really trying to chat to me no more still. Like, like, why, like, what's going on? Like, she's like, cool, I want to chat to her for you and see where I've gone. So, she comes back to me and she's like, oh, she's saying that, I'm not going to lie, it wasn't really a thing like that. And um, she's saying that, oh, like, she's not really into you anymore. And you just weren't really doing a thing, and it wasn't really going to like he wasn't really gonna go nowhere and like literally what she was trying to do was she was trying to deny me because she heard that i was denying her so she was saying like, oh because obviously i'm violent and she doesn't want to be with me the the way to say and i'm like to her fam it's not true like it's actually not true so fast forward now there's one time that we're all on the bus in it and this is how that situation happened like i'm gonna get into that point now so obviously actually no before, before go back a little bit more so sea breeze starts to come about when i'm asking a friend like can you chat to her for me the sea breeze is like not gonna lie to you this is the new girl now see Breeze, isn't it? So she's like, oh, I'm not gonna lie to you. She doesn't want to speak to you anymore. Da -da -da -da. Wait, say, I think you should leave her alone. Da -da -da. And I'm not like, calm, but you're in my business. Yeah, don't do that. I'm not really chatting to you. I'm chatting to the other friend because the other friend I know mutually, like, is our mutual friend. That friend likes me, I like the friend. Passionate likes her as well. So I don't really know you from nowhere. Me and you don't really have any dealings. So it, with all due respect, Sea Breeze, go and take a seat. Go and dip back in the ocean. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, she's getting involved now and she's like, oh, she doesn't really want to chat to you, Ray Tate. So, fast forward now, there's this time that we're now on the bus in it. And I'm trying to chat to my girl in it because it's ended up a thing where it's a big saga. Everybody's involved now. People know that, like, you know, that like, we're not really talking anymore, but we was talking. Duh, 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 duh. Chats are now starting to get deleted. And it's like, oh, like, Okay, what's going on? And guys, I forgot to mention, you see the Seabreeze girl, yeah? She's very strong in it. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, her brother's a road man. Everyone's scared of her brother. So nobody ever tried to pipe up to her kind of thing because they know, like, what, what who she's associated with. I'm like, her brother is known for beating up guys. Like, everyone was scared of her brother, bruv. I'm saying that for real. And she can handle herself. Like, I can't lie to you. As slim as she was, she could take on man and she could take them all good. Like, she would thump out your living daylights, bruv. So there's one time we're all on the back of the bus in it and Cashinot wasn't there, but it was just literally all her friends. All the friends of Cashinot was on the bus that was sea breeze a mutual friend and a couple other girls and obviously you know how i told you that i was in the clique them lots of other people were on the bus as well and we was making our way to the social spot because i know everybody had the social spot to where they would go to and us was the bit was the bus station all of us were making our way to the bus station because that's where everybody would link up different different schools rate a cool so everyone's talking about the situation now and basically sea breeze started to mock the situation basically trying to say oh she ain't really interested in you no more da -da 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 -da. and like she was just basically trying to say that oh like like basically she was just taking a piss in it. I was like, not gonna lie, shut up because you're not helping the situation. Shut up, bro. Shut up, my nigga, shut up. She was like, oh, what did you say? I was like, fam, shut up because you're not helping the situation. As soon as I said shut up, a switch just flipped in her head, fam. And she was like, oh, you didn't shut up, you didn't shut up, like. And I was like, fam, I'm telling you to shut up, fam, because you just chatting that shit like you need to shut up. So she gets up now, and I'm at the back of the bus. She gets up and she walks to the back of the bus. As she's walking to the back of the bus now, like she's come up right in front of me because I'm sitting right in the middle, innit? She's like, who <laughs> like, you didn't shut up? Who you didn't shut up? You're not telling me to shut up, fam. And she pushes my head in it. But the way how she pushed my head, it wasn't really anything deep because she just literally pushed my head in it. And like some big commotion was going on and she and they ended up taking her off the bus. So I'm thinking, alright, cool. She's gone now. I'm just gonna continue to go to my destination in it, which was the bus station, because I still planned to meet everybody. It wasn't time for me to go home yet. It was still early, so let me just do that. So guys, after I've gone to the bus station now and I've got off the bus, like obviously I'm just chilling, I'm with the click and stuff like that. So we're just there chilling, vibing, whatever, whatever. Listen, couple seconds later, I hear some big commotion going on behind me and I turn around here and I see that it's literally Seabreeze getting off the bus with a huge crowd of people and people are starting to walk towards me. I'm like, rah, like, what's going on? I know it couldn't be from the situation that was on the bus because she had her moment, so why is this all dragging? Do you get what I mean? So people are coming up to me and Seabreeze is like literally charging up to me, bro. And she was like, you was acting bad on the bus, so what are you saying? What are you saying? You tell her to shut up. You tell her to shut up. You can't be telling me to shut up. You tell her to shut up. You think you're bad, yeah? You think you're bad, da, 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 da. And I'm just there, like, fam, like, you need to chill out, bruv. Like, what are you doing? Me keeping in mind, like, I know who her brother is, innit? So I'm not really trying to, like, demand in my life. 
Like they, right. they're not really like, do you know what I mean? Like they want to get involved, but they can't get involved because they don't have to get involved. Like they're all getting tucked in by a brother. I'm not gonna lie, I'm moving shook as well. Like I'm not shook of you, of what is standing up right in front of me. I'm shook of what can come behind you, yeah. Cause I'm not really trying to deal with the devil himself trying to come up to me and put me in a spliff. Like I'm not really trying to make my mum bear with me early in it. So I'm just trying to be cautious, isn't it? Anyway, she's all up in my face saying that. Oh, yeah, you're bad, <laughs> you think you're bad, did it? You think you're bad, did it? You think you're bad, did it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me to shut up, you told me to shut up, you told me to shut up. And I'm like, fam, it's not that deep. Like, bearing in mind this girl is really bipolar so once you set her off in it like it's, it's your, dun your dance is done bruv I'm telling you once you set this girl off there's no coming back and I've seen this girl I get angry more than once like I've seen her in action in it like she's a real beast fam and I'm not gonna lie to you the size and what I was back then the way how I slimmed down there's no way I could take her on bruv I'm telling you she would have mashed up my team so anyways now I'm telling her nah you need to chill you're moving a bit nuts da, 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 da. she's not hearing it bruv it's like the more I'm speaking the more angry that she's getting <laughs> and I'm like oh, lord where is this gonna end bruv because like not gonna lie to you bare people are crying around people are taking out their phones and stuff like that so i'm not really trying to that's public embarrassment that i don't need you see the embarrassment this is really embarrassing she's calling me every single name underneath the sun out of nowhere she gets tired of talking Doom. Doom. Oh my god! On this side of my face, fam, she knocked out my teeth, bro. No! I was wearing braces at the time, innit? And she literally broke my braces. My braces came off my mouth. <laughs> and she went to go swing again, but I blocked it. Fam, out of, listen, I thank God, I think God sent this guy out of nowhere. Basically, my mom's friend is a bus driver, innit? So he came out of nowhere and he like, he literally grabbed me, innit? And he pushed the girl away. And the girl was still trying to come and he was like, he, he, was, he was just there pushing the girl away, innit? And fam, I was getting angry. Like, I, like listen, in, in the moment, yeah, like, you're not, you're, you're deeper what has happened because I didn't see the punch coming. So I'm like, no, what just happened? Like, like, like you know when you're, you're like, oh, you know what the word is? Like, when you're just like, you're, you're not... You can't believe that just happened. Like you can't really speak or move. Like you, like you're just in shock, kind of thing. And I'm like, what? Just my face is stinging. I'm feeling metal in my mouth. What's going on? You got knocked the fuck out. So he's took me into the off license now, and I've clocked that. Literally, I just got banged in front of 50 people in the middle of the bus station. I'm like, no, I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. I'm like, no, how can she do that? You little bitch. Da -da -da -da. So fam, he's trying to get me a drink now. Yeah, he's bought me a drink to try to calm myself down. And fam. Listen, I said I'm gonna go pick up a bottle. So I pick, I was trying to pick up a, a, a tropical river mint and I was gonna bring it across from the off, from the off license for it to try and lick her in it. And I was just gonna, I, I don't know what I was gonna do after, but I know for a fact I was just gonna pick up one of the bottles Fling it from the from from the bus um from the off license because like she was literally in close proximity so I could have fling it because the guy wasn't trying to let me go in it and just deal with her brother another time but it's like also a thing in my head that I don't hit girls I wasn't raised that way in it so I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't do anything my mom was just telling me no but the girl needed a tuck in brother I'm telling you the way I actually punched in my face and the fact you want to come back three times not only did you do this but you tucked me up. Bruv, I'm telling you, like. so after that now, like, literally, peep, like, like, she was basically trying to say, oh, come outside, come outside, come outside. Like, she was proper moving, like, man, them, like, come outside, come outside, come outside. I'm telling you, the commotion that was going on, like, I'm on Snapchat that day, hella verbal. So I go home now, and someone snitched to my mum. Someone seen me on road, and I'm bearing in mind, guys, my mum has never, like, my mum has never gotten a phone call about me on road. She's never gotten a phone call about me in trouble. Like, none of that. Like, I'm literally a good child when it comes to streets and stuff like that. I don't get in trouble with police. None of them people there. I'm, I'm a good youth, yeah. She gets a phone call saying that, ah, oh, your son's having a fight with a girl at the bus station. Um, she's like to me, ah, oh, what are you doing? I was like, fam, I didn't get fought, she punched me in my face. And she's like, oh, uh, this is saying you got a school fight. Da -da -da, I hear that. Da -da -da -da. When we tell her, come on, you know what I'm Come on, you wear your like so obviously I got my mom, you know how Jamaican parents are from she was just chatting hella like yeah fool so basically I got in trouble with my mum she took away a couple of items whatever whatever but that was even the end of it fam I'm looking at Snapchat hella verbals on Snap she wasn't done fam so I go to school the next day and um, I'm thinking that the situation's done like what more could happen like I've gone through public embarrassment I'm just getting a Snapchat on my phone saying that ah oh, um, it's not over She's coming to the gates of the of your school today to finish him off. Wool up, nigga. Wool up, wool up, wool up. Just wool up. Finish you off. Finish what off? Why? What is there to finish off? Over. Shut up. Over. Shut up. Over a situation that you was not involved in. Are you serious? Are you serious? So obviously that day. I was taking my sweet time to leave the gates. I even went through some back way just to avoid the whole situation because I wasn't really trying to go through that embarrassment again. Um, I said, so she changed her mind now. She's not coming from outside of the school. She's going to the 
one of the link up spots she's going to the supermarket that we usually go to before school and the thing is you have to pass that supermarket before you go to on my way home or on my way to school in it where the traffic lights are you can see who's on the bus in it so she was literally waiting there and like you see the crosses boy fam he was trying to tell her when i was leaving school and where i was going he was trying to follow me and i'm telling him to fuck off fam you're so waste man bro i'm on the bus now yeah and I'm seeing bare people at the traffic lights looking at the buses to try to check if I'm on the bus. The man ducks down. I ducked down. I was not trying to go through that embarrassment again. Like, like basically, you could see, like, you see where the bus turns in it, you can see everything in the bus. So basically, I had to lie down on the floor. Like, let me tell you. That's what I did. I lied on the floor like that. Because I wasn't trying to see, I wasn't trying to go through round two, innit? I escaped that nicely, blood. I escaped that nicely. So let's get into the receipts, innit? So I approached my girl and I'm like, fam, it's because of, like, I go to speak to Cash Not now, and I'm like, to Cash Not, I'm not gonna lie to you, you're violating because your friend came to come fight me off for your sake, innit? Because she's thinking that she's defending you over rumors. So she comes and says, now, ah, oh. so I asked Cash Not now, I'm not gonna lie, all of this happened because of you, because you're telling lies about apparently how we wasn't doing things together. Basically, I said that you're telling hella lies and your lies has gotten me into trouble. And then I've just snapshot her that and she was like to me, oh, what lies did I tell? And I said, it was fully not needed. Like if it wasn't on just talking to me anymore, you could have just said it, you get it? Like you didn't need to go lie to people and say rate A, B and C because look where it's landed me. It's landed me in public embarrassment for The reason why you're doing all of this is because of a rumor that you heard. Obviously you he was hearing it from multiple different people, but I'm telling you as your guy, the person that you were seeing that it was not true. So obviously when I said to her that all of this happened because of you, she came to come, but CBs came to come punch me because of you. She was like, oh, she backed me because she was telling people that you never wanted me in the first place. And apparently how I begged, like how she begged for me or whatever. And I was like, fam, that never happened. Like, why would I tell people that you begged me? Make it make sense, like make it make sense. And then I just said to her, listen, from time ago, I told you to just leave the situation. Like if you wasn't just trying to chat to me no more, just don't chat to me no more. You didn't need to drag the whole situation. She comes and says, oh, apparently my friends were saying that, oh, like, I, and basically, Key, I'm still chatting shit to my friends. This is the reason why all this has happened. And I was like, fam, don't call that waste man my friend because he was never my friend. Like, he was never a friend. He's always been an op. Like, ever since he came to that secondary school, he's been one big fat op, fam. Basically, because of the rumors that were going on about, yeah, apparently how I said that she was begging it, da -da 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 -da, which I did not say. She was basically trying to unsafe chats, like, fabricate the chats and alter the chats for it to look like I was the one that was actually begging her. So I was just like, fam, you didn't need to do all of that, fam, because not gonna lie to you, you got me beat up, you got me embarrassed, this, that, and the next. You're still telling lies on my name and you still have my name in your mouth and your friends are still trying to fight me for me to pattern that fam not gonna lie to you so guys even after that situation nobody can even have chat for me fam because everybody knew that if they were in that same situation they couldn't have done anything fam because nobody was trying to get touched by her brother i'm telling you that for real like see me i'm not about that guy gang violence thing i know nothing about chinging swords like stabbing man in their neck and i'm not about that life you get i've never been about that life you see me my face is for youtube this that i ain't i ain't you know what i mean i'm a pretty boy do you know what i mean back then i was a pretty boy so i was not about oh that whole gang violence thing trying to size up to roadman and stuff like that i wasn't on that selective badness kind of thing i was not on that do you get what i mean i had my head straight i said cool i'm just gonna avoid my girl not see her again because i'm not really trying to get no problems with her and her family i was just not on that do you get what i mean but just funny like yeah just i was just not on that fam stayed on my merry way bruv do you get what i mean you know who to pick your fights with and that i was just not trying to pick it with her in it like what you, do you get what i mean like i'm not trying to push my luck do you get what i mean man? perfect i'm not trying to push my luck there's only so much times that God can save you, you get it? So I learned my lesson, innit? Don't tell the girl to shut up again, bruv. If she tells you to shut up, you shut up. Yeah, shut up, don't worry. Don't worry, you tell me to shut up, I'll shut up. Don't worry, don't worry. A little longer than a few minutes later. Listen, I feel sorry for her, man, innit? Like, all I gotta say is, if you get together with this girl, just know that she's gonna beat the shit out of you. Never do something like, you can't pipe up to this girl, bruv, because I'm telling you, she's gonna beat you, she's gonna beat you. She's gonna beat you. She's gonna beat like a man. I'll beat you like a woman and beat you like a man. <laughs> Pump me in my face, actually knock out my braces, bruv. And let me tell you something, you see when I went to the dentist, yeah, I couldn't even explain to them what happened, because you know how you have to tell them that, you have to give them, give them a phone call and you have to get a pattern within the next 48 hours. So, um, literally, I just told them that um, I ate dumpling and that's how it came out, bruv. I couldn't tell them the real story, bruv, you're stupid. Tell them that, oh, girl, punch me in my face. But anyways, guys, that's the end of that story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like, comment, if you need to tell me, make sure you guys subscribe. Again, I'm doing Vlogmas, guys. I'm going to do try and hauls, story times, group discussion videos, got the whole lot coming in it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to, do you get what I mean? Man got tucked in my face, bruv. I got punched up in my face. But listen to me, I don't want to hear nothing in the comments, bruv, because I'm not going to lie to you. You really, if, like. But, anyways, see you guys in the next video. I'm, I'm, I'm out still. Enough of them pretty on the outside. Most of them are the devil on the inside. Outside clean like a pearl or a ruby.